welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping on by everyone as always and i'm changing it up a little bit i'll be putting myself on camera during this analysis i usually do not but i thought i might as well start doing some interesting things now that we reached a thousand subscribers you guys a very very happy um situation for us for public science history we reached a thousand subscribers which is huge so that's going to be something we'll be looking at and eventually hopefully we'll hit a hundred thousand and i can show my face finally on camera at least the full face i'm sure you guys are getting a glimpse of it at some point during this video uh, maybe just a small portion of it but we'll see so we're at pd poke right now and we're doing love cup analysis love cup analysis and for this video i'm going to go ahead and talk about 10 Pokemon that will save you a lot of Stardust and a lot of candies during this uh, week of Love Cup. Um, of course, a lot of these Pokemon you see on the meta, you may not already have for the Love Cup. Um, so I want to go ahead and make sure you guys are saving dust, but also winning a ton of games this upcoming week. So before we do that, let's go ahead and, and um, uh, just give a shout out to PvP Poke. PvPoke.com, one of the very amazing uh, resources out there. I highly suggest it for every single person to use. So pvpoke.com, check it out. And we're on Love Cup settings right now. And I want to go ahead and touch first on the Pokemon that will um, not require a second charge move, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and break this into two parts. One will be uh, Pokemon that I don't feel you need two charge moves for. And the second part will be Pokemon that um, I think two charge moves will be great, but it'll only cost you 10,000 Stardust to unlock. So let's go ahead and talk about the Pokemon you don't need Stardust uh, to use, uh, essentially, because you don't need to... Uh, Get that second charge move and a little a little momola you guys everyone have have had a lot of trouble pronouncing this guy <laughs> so because its name is such a weird i feel like this should be an l here instead of the m uh it should be a lolo a lolo mola or something like that but a low mo mola is just not roll uh roll off your tongue at all and this is one pokemon that i highly suggest not getting a second charge move it, i think it costs seventy five thousand stardust it does not evolve so it's very expensive um I think you get away with Waterfall and Psychic probably, or Waterfall and Hydro Pump is not a terrible way to go. I like Psychic more because you at least hit back against the Vile Plumes that you'll be seeing. Uh, does, a, does, of course, really well against uh, Charizard and the Charmers you see, so that's why he's ranked number two right now. And I made a quick team builder, you guys, um, for a little Momola, and I was just kind of curious, what happens if you give it two charge moves compared to only giving it Psychic, compared to only giving it Hydro Pump? So I ran this analysis, these three scenarios that you see right here. And it was very startling, you guys. Uh, not a lot of uh, differences. I think the one where it's just all, where it's just hydro pump and waterfall does a little bit worse. But if you compare these two cases, the first case is the one with uh, two charge moves. The second one is the case with only psychic. And you can kind of see they're pretty much mirror of each other. <clears throat> they're mirrors of each other, essentially. I think in this situation, a uh, little Momola will actually can beat out uh, its counterpart, I guess, if it had two charge moves versus one. But aside from that, it's it's mirror identical of each other. So it's not worth the 75 Stardust, in my opinion. And then another Pokemon, or two Pokemon, I want to uh, just combine them, uh, Clefable and Wigglytuff, both running charms. These will be your two uh, most favorite charmers in the league. I think Clefable has a little more play because it doesn't have the normal typing. So it'll take, it'll, it'll take resisted damage from any fighting moves, from Scrafty, from Medicham. So it'll be pretty nice. Um, so I don't think you need to have two charges on Wigglytuff or Clefable. Um, I, I would go with um, Psychic on Clefable so you can hit back at the Vile Plumes. And then for Wigglytuff, I would go Ice Beam for a little more coverage there as well for any potential flyers. You may or may not see really play rough. If you go Charm play rough, you're really in trouble against Charizard. Ice Beam will at least uh, be neutral. So I would go with that, you guys. And then let's see, what else do we have? We have the Slow Bro Slow King. The big brother and the and the much bigger brother, Slow King. Confusion, another fast move that will do a lot of damage. This cup is going to be the fast move cup, in my opinion. Uh, that's just what I see. So Confusion, Psychic, Blizzard for Slow King. And then for Slow Bro, Confusion, Psychic, Ice Beam. So for Slow King, I would go with probably, um, probably Psychic because Blizzard just takes so long to get to you and Confusion does not generate, generate energy that quickly. And probably the same for Slow Bro. You can go with Ice Beam too, just for more coverage, like I said. Um, but against Vile Plumes, uh, Psychic moves are already super effective, so you don't really need to go with the Ice Moves. And you have st uh, Stab with Psychic. And also ran another team builder, you guys, for um, Slow Bro's Confusion. So the first case is running Psychic Ice Beam, the second case running just Ice Beam, and the third case running just Psychic. 
So as you see, no differences, you guys, no differences really. So as you see, the first case is a two charge move. The other, the last, next two cases are only one charge moves. And you may like maybe pick up a matchup against Sea King, um, but it's definitely not worth the extra 50,000 starters. I would go straight, slow bro, one charge move or one, yeah, one charge move. And then another Pokemon, Vileplume, Shadow Vileplume. I don't think you need to have Sludge Bomb and Moonblast. I would personally go with just Sludge Bomb probably because you get there a little bit faster. Razor Leaf, especially with a Shadow, it's not going to get to a Moonblast too often um, unless you're in a very favorable matchup. Um, and of course, Sludge Bomb gets stabbed. So I think you get away with just Razor Leaf, Shadow Vileplume, you guys. And then so let's go ahead and talk about um, the Pokemon that only require 10,000 Stardust to unlock your second move. Let's start off with Crustle. So let's see, where's Crystal? I think Crystal is still pretty hot. Yeah, 14 right here. Smackdown, uh, Rock Slide, X is It'll be nice to have two charge moves. But Smackdown, of course, another heavy hitting fast move, you guys. You got to have those fast moves locked on, you guys. So, uh, of course, uh, it just completely destroys Charizards. And uh, it actually beats Warm Down Trash, Golapi, Electrode. Um, has a lot of really good matchups and only costs 10,000 Stardust to get that second move. So I would definitely get it. Uh, Charizard, you guys. Uh, Charizard is a little more of an interesting case because you will have to have a Blast Burn one. But keep in mind, Charizard will also only cost 10,000 starters to unlock a second move. So that's very, very darn good. Um, so keep that in mind. And on the same uh, token, I think uh, uh, Talonflame is another flying uh, fire type Pokemon, which I think will be pretty solid. Of course, it, you want to have it for to counter the Charmers. Um, but Talonflame, keep in mind that it takes a while to get to charge moves. So in a, in a cup where it's very fast move dependent, uh, just got to keep an eye out for that, you guys. And Talonflame is really one of the only Pokemon that actually have a fire fast move, in my opinion, in this cup. So keep that in mind as well. And then Cherim, you guys. Cherim right here, Sunny Cherim. Um, this one's running Bola Seed. I actually might consider running one with Razor Leaf. And once again, only takes 10,000 starters to unlock the second move. So it's very nice to get a very spammy Weather Ball in there. And also Solar Beam in case you need to destroy uh, Alola Mola or Slow King or Slow Bro. And then the next Pokemon I want to talk about, also Scolipede. 10,000 starters to unlock the second move, then you can have Bug and Poison uh, variety. Defeats a lot of variety, actually. Uh, you see both the Charmers, Alola Mola, Vileplume, a Fighter. The Scolipede is a very, it's like a Swiss army knife. And I know Generation, one of our amazing friends of the channel, congratulations Generation for hitting Legend last night as well, and Scolipede, he's, he's going to be running Scolipede, and I think a lot of people will as well because it has a lot of coverage, you guys, a lot of coverage, as you see right here. And then the next Pokemon is the one I think will be kind of the underdog of this cup, and it's not super low at all, but it's actually Warmer Damn Trash at number 21. The reason I love it so much because, well, one, it's also one of those Pokemon that only costs 10,000 starters to unlock the second charge move, but it has the Confusion, which we know. Is very, this cup is going to be fast move dependent, and there's a couple of fast moves that you'll see a lot of. Waterfall, Confusion, Razor Leaf, and Charm. So of those four types, Warmer Dam actually will resist three of them. So you see Fairy, there's a Charm. The Psychic is for the Confusion right here. And then Grass is the Razor Leaf. So it resists all the, three of the four types, and then the Waterfall is the last, actually the last type we will we will see from Alola Mola mostly, and it's uh, neutral only. So... Uh, and then it's double weak to fire, but we already established earlier, right, that only Talonflame is the only one that has a fast move that is fire type. So you don't really have to worry too much about that. They have to get the charge moves to really take you out, and you can kind of play around uh, with and play, play around with your shields, and also you'll be dealing uh, neutral confusion damage as well while they're charging up. You'll be doing a lot of damage back to them. So Warmer Damn Trash is going to be very, very good to use, in my opinion. And once again, only 10,000 Stardust to unlock. So thank you so much, you guys, for stopping on by. And that's my 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 budgeted 10 budgeted Pokemon to help you succeed in the Love Cup without um, bankrupting your Stardust. So if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys all on the flip side. Take care.